Over 60 at Rock Yellowstone Lake on Wednesday. Humanity was not destroyed. Although the swarm of earthquakes that rumbled under Lake Yellowstone early Wednesday morning would have certainly sparked talk of a civilization ending volcanic eruption in the area, officials say there's no need to worry. The 60-plus earthquakes that hit the area were very small with scales ranging from 0.1 to 3.7 and occurs frequently. Earthquake sequences like this are common and account for about 50% of the total seismicity in the Yellowstone area, scientists from the University of Utah said in response to the quake. Only two quakes registered on the alerts a person could feel with one coming in at 3.0 and another one at 3.7. Anything below 3.0 is hard for people to feel. Plus, the quake was under the lake, so unless someone is scuba diving in the area, chances are no one will experience it firsthand. Also, it's not a great time to dive Yellowstone Lake as temperatures are in the lower 20s and dropping snow. Yellowstone officials were unable to confirm the presence of scuba divers during the earthquake. In short, Yellowstone has been home to about 1,000 small quakes per year since 1973. That's an average of 2.7 per day, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The only thing more frequent than Yellowstone quake swarms are stories of possible Yellowstone quake swarms signaling the big one is imminent. Last month, Fears grew when panicked forecasters predicted an earthquake would trigger a supervolcano located in Yellowstone. It made Mike Poland, scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Observatory, laugh. It's bullshit, Poland told the Cowboy State Daily. It was very unusual for an earthquake to trigger volcanic activity. We know this, for one thing, because in 1959 there was M7.2 on the northwestern border. Yellowstone and did not result in a major eruption, said Poland, referring to the Lake Hebgen earthquake on August 17, 1959. It changed some of the behavior of the geysers as they flow around the underground channel system, but that was all. So for now, mankind can rest easy. Earthquake swarms are normal and we're not going to explode anytime soon. The most powerful earthquake ever to rock Yellowstone National Park left 28 people dead and knocked the ground up to 20 feet in some areas after it occurred on August 17, 1959. Groundwater swelled and receded in wells as far away as Hawaii from the stunning 7.2 magnitude Lake Hebgen earthquake. Nearly 60 years later, scientists say the effects of the same quake rocked Yellowstone again this time in the form of 3,000 smaller quakes in the Maple Creek Park area. Earthquakes of this kind at Yellowstone are very common, explained study co-author Keith Coper, director of the University of Utah Seismograph Station, in a statement. Swarms are very common. This one is a bit longer and has more events than usual. The researchers determined that many of the quakes in the cluster were aftershocks of Lake Hebgen by observing that the quakes occurred along the same fault lines and were oriented in the same way. They note that it is not uncommon for aftershocks to appear again months, years, or even decades after the initial quake. Earthquakes don't happen as a single discrete event in time, Coper said. There is a formula for predicting how many aftershocks you should see. For Lake Hebgen, there seems to be a deficit in the number of aftershocks. Now that we have this, it has brought things back to their original expectations. <laughs>